A lovely morning, Africa. Ongoing current, I'm still having the continuation on higher education, the conference that's looking at global challenges and opportunities in higher education. And I happen to have the president of uh, Yangnang Technology University, who is actually a world renowned by chemist, but also a Nobel Prize winner. He has actually also wrote over 300 publications so many things that he actually has done. It's a pleasure to have you, Prof. It's a pleasure to be here in Johannesburg and in this conference. It's been a very exciting day for me. Now, Prof, obviously I've mentioned quite impressive CV, but I know there are lots of things that you've actually done, lots of awards and appointments. But I wanted to bring it closer to this uh, conference. Tell us more about the partnership that you have with the University of Johannesburg. Now, it's a very important for NTU uh, in Singapore. We are ranked, uh, and the, you know, this is a ranking conference, uh, ranked number five in the world when it comes to international collaborations and international profile. Yes. But actually, we have very little collaboration with Africa. And I think in today's world, if you're going to be a real international university, you also have to include Africa. And that's why it's so important now that we have with Johannesburg. And of course, it's going to be uh, an exchange of students. I mean, the students is the future. And it's very important that Singaporean students get to know Africa. And African students also got to know Asia. I mean, Asia and Africa are the emerging markets, and yes. it's very important to connect them already when they are young, you know, because the networks they create when they are students, they will keep when they are older and become business people or, or technological people. Yes. So what benefits do you feel this uh, conference will bring to your university? Yeah, this conference has already made uh, Johannesburg University and NTU to become married. So I, we were engaged before, but now we are married. And we are actually also thinking of having very future high-level uh, workshops here in Singapore where I'm going to bring uh, Nobel Prize winners to discuss many scientific uh, issues but adapt them to the African scene, so to speak, particularly to the South African scene, because many problems are, uh, are cosmopolitan, but many problems also have their special regional touch to them. And this we want the best people in the world come and discuss with scholars from South Africa. Now, I know you are a Nobel Prize winner in the area of uh, science. Do you feel Africa is doing enough on no. that? I'm not the Nobel Prize winner. I give out Nobel Prizes. So, so that's a, 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 an important thing. Yeah, I mean, I, I think in, in the future, of course, uh, Africa will contribute. That will come, and will prob co probably come quite quickly. If you go to the 1980s, Asia was not on the map. And today, many of the top universities in the world are Asia. Yes. And I would see in the future to come, this will happen to Africa as well. It may take some further, some more years, but I'm convinced it's going to come. But it's also then important for the African universities to have international collaboration. That will make it go faster, you know? Well, international um, connection is very important. In a sense, the aspect, actually the concept of internalization. Help us understand that when it comes to the world of academics. What does it mean? It means knowledge show has no borders. The challenges of our planet has no uh, borders. Uh, sustainability, environment, health, yes, has no borders. And therefore, the universities must be international. The financial markets, the private big companies are international. So we cannot have an international world with local universities. Then we are not at par. And I'm actually, I'm Swedish, uh, and I wrote an article in, in the Swedish uh, newspaper, are Swedish universities too Swedish? And maybe if I transform that to, to South Africa, are South African universities to South African? And I think that is very important. So for my, for my sake is that internationalization is a key issue for academia in the future. Yes. Now, I know that Asian universities have actually uh, made themselves to be world renowned. Actually, they've done quite a lot in terms of world ranking. Mm -hmm. I wanted to find out what are some of the best practices that have actually made you guys to come that far? I, I think when it comes to university rankings, one has to realize that research plays a lot. Not volume of research, but quality of research. Yes. Uh, another factor is that uh, you must have uh, uh, teachers with PhDs, you know, and you have to have 
uh, not too many students per one teacher. I mean, we cannot have 500 students and one teacher. Yes. So, so these are, 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 are things. But one should also say that internationalization in itself has been very important for countries uh, like Singapore, Hong Kong, and China also has gone, gone a bit. they've been very national, but they're also turning more international. Beautiful. Now, do you feel that there's a strong um, relationship when it comes to higher education and economic development? Absolutely. What is that relationship? I, I mean, you can see where in the world does most Nobel Prizes come from? Yes. It, it's the New York, Boston area, it's the Bay area, uh, you have uh, Switzerland. These are also the areas where you have the most innovative industries coming uh, uh, and so forth. So it's very hard. Many times you could say, is there a direct correlation? I think it is, but it certainly is an indirect correlation. And I could say you cannot give any example of a, of a country that prosper economically, which is also not a top uh, academic. Country. Academic. So Africa needs to start investing more in terms of uh, higher education. Yeah, I think it's very important for for the politicians of Africa to do that. I realize they have many challenges. But if you only put up out the fires of today, you will never build for tomorrow. It's been nice talking to you, Prof. Yes, I also enjoyed it. And uh, good luck with your program. Well, Africa, on that note, we've come to the end of the segment. Like he said, education is key. And there's actually there's a strong relationship between higher education and the benefits that come along with socioeconomic development. Well, on that note, it's back to the studio.